Hi everybody, this is Mitch Milo. I thought I would spend a little bit of time today to look through the um, new form editor uh, that's part of Power Apps. It's a preview that we're having. Uh, we just got it in North America, which is why I'm just now making this video. So you get to it by going into Power Apps. So this is the Office 365 uh, portal. So just click on Power Apps and it will open this screen here. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you're in the correct environment. So again, this has to be a 9.1 environments because that's where the preview is so make sure that's selected up here and then open the data uh, drop down and click on entities and you're going to need to select an entity we're going to be working with the account today just for giggles so once this pops up it'll list all of the things that you can edit through the editor here and we're going to go to forms now if you just click on the uh, the name of the form here it's just going to open the standard form editor that we've always had but over here on this ellipsis button we have an edit form preview so we're going to click that and it's going to open up the editor inside of the power apps instead of the native dynamics 365 editor so you'll notice a few things have changed things have been moved around most of the functionality is there but remember this is a preview so not all the functionality uh, seems to be uh, included in this. So the first thing you'll see on the left hand side is the field list. This is the same field list that we've used before. You can filter it by the, the default, all custom fields. Uh, we have the checkbox still here for um, uh, show only unused fields. This is our preview of our editor itself. Then over here we have the uh, form uh, property. So we have the name of the form, the description, the maximum width in pixels, if we want to have an image on it. Okay. Now again, remember I said this is a preview. Um, this is not supposed to be like this, I don't think, but it might be. It's just I think what this is is just a uh, collapsed view of whatever view this is. Yeah, sorry it is. Okay. Either that or it's just a display problem. But other than that, you interact with the items on the form the same way as you always have. In addition, we have a few things over here under the, um, the menu. So we have the field list we showed earlier. Then we have layout. So this is a way to add a new component to this uh, form. So we have our different types of tabs and our different types of sections. You'll also notice that the add control button uh, was highlighted when we went to the layout section and the same when we're on the field so we can add a field um, here and we can uh, change the layout so let's look at the field so I don't see I don't see a way to add a new field from here there used to be a button at the bottom where we could do that so that doesn't appear to exist um, a new feature we have here is the tree view control so if you look at this, here are the main pieces of your form. You have the header and the footer. So that's the header here. Footer is down at the bottom here. It's usually where the status is displayed. And then you'll have a, a number of tabs. So we have a summary tab and a details tab, as you see there. If you expand those, you will get information on each of the sections within the tab. And as you know, uh, tabs contain sections and sections contain fields so um, just clicking on these will actually bring up their associated field stuff over on the right hand side now one thing I did notice if we check on so um, every field has a, a formatting of uh, section so under the tab we have the layout which is going to be one two or three columns so we have the width of the columns depending so you could set them independently or you can use the default layout under section we have the number of columns again one two three or four and then under field uh, right now we have field width now the field width is the only thing that's showing up right now as I just showed you some of the fields have properties like this uh, credit hold is a two option field on the other form editor there would be a, um, uh, a selector to allow you to select the, um, uh, the, the format of the, of the, of the two option field. So it's either going to be a drop down, yes, no, a checkbox, or a radio button set. So that is missing. Also under the section, the thing that's missing under section is how the labels appear. Um, so you can set the labels to be at the top or the left side, and you can... Um, 
have them show up uh, centered, right, or left justified. So those are that's not uh, not been added at this point in time. Now a couple things here. Now I went through this uh, to try and figure out all the things that it did earlier. And as I mentioned, this uh, tree view thing allows you to select individual components. But one thing that is lacking from this interface is the ability to add or sorry to move things around. Now one thing I did not try is right now. Can we move that around? Nope. So right now I don't see any obvious way to actually move something once you have it uh, put on. So like for instance if we want to go to layouts and add a one column tab and you'll notice that I had summary selected so it added it just after the uh, summary section. If I was on details and did that it would put it after details. So now we have two tabs. I can delete an option or whatever I've selected. Uh, I can switch to the classic view uh, which is the standard one that we've been using for forever. And so I don't see any way to actually move things around. So if I go and add a couple fields, I don't want to move them around. I don't see a way to do that. There's no see a drag and drop feature here. Uh, the arrows do not work as they do within the form editor, and the drag and drop over here does also not appear to. Okay, so again, part of the preview program. So, um, like I said, this is a step forward. So this will be um, what we will be using, uh, I'm assuming, going forward. Um, we just have to kind of get used to it. Uh, again, uh, uh, we need to submit feedback, okay, like heuristic forming over here. We need a way to drag and drop stuff. One of the things you can do is you can, down here at the bottom, you can set the, um, the type of device that you want to see the form on. So, for instance, if I want to switch over to the tablet view, it will reformat the preview uh, pane to show me the uh, stuff on the, on the tablet, how the tablet would see it. And we also have phone and then the responsive and then finally desktop. Uh, we can also make the, uh, we can zoom in on stuff if you want to have a better view of. So that's good. And then finally we have the ability to save and then to publish. And I think I thought I saw a note um, on the April release notes that they're going to actually kind of come out with a save and publish button, uh, but I'm not terribly sure if that uh, was accurate or not, but it could be. So anyway, so that's a quick preview of the new form editor. So if anybody has any questions, just leave the comments in the video. Thanks.